Hi everyone and thank you for watching the next video of learning Kali Linux video training series. In this section we're going to talk about reconnaissance which is the first step of ethical hacking process. Reconnaissance is referring to gathering information and getting to know the target systems. And there are basically two types of reconnaissance as we explained before, passive and active. We're going to start with passive reconnaissance in this video. Passive reconnaissance is basically referring to the techniques and methods that they are non-interruptive. So they're not really touching the target devices or target assets or target sites. They're basically just using the publicly available information, whether those information are on the internet, on the newspapers and TV, or wherever they could be. Some of the tools that could be used for passive reconnaissance are NSLOOKUP and equivalent DIG on Kali Linux, Traceroute, some of the websites like Who is the Database or network-lookup.com, and some specific tools from Kali Linux like Dimitri and Multigo. I'm going to start this video with talking about NSLOOKUP and DIG. Before we do that, I had to actually change a little bit of configuration on my machine to get it working over the internet as well. So on Kali Linux, I've added another adapter and bridged it to my wireless internet connection so I can basically have internet connectivity on this machine. So you could basically follow the same thing to have internet connectivity on Kali Linux machine as well. So you will talk to the lab with the first adapter and basically talk to the internet the second adapter. So the syntax of nslookup command is pretty simple. All you need to do is just type nslookup and then the domain name that you want and basically that would return the IP address associated with that domain or URL. As you can see, it would return the IP address for facebook.com, IP address version 4 and IP address version 6. And basically if there is a reverse DNS record specified as well, you could do basically the other way around. So you could basically just type nslookup and the IP address and it would return the domain name as well. So that's pretty useful information that you could just put together when you're doing your reconnaissance. If you want to find out the details about NSLOOKUP and how it works, you could just simply type man NSLOOKUP and basically that would return the manual or help guide about NSLOOKUP command and it would give you a lot of information that basically you could use with your nslookup command. I'm not just going to go through a lot of those. I'm just going to explain some basically quick tips that would be useful for you when you're working with nslookup commands. If you just type nslookup without any option, it would go into the prompt mode and basically wait for specifying the options. You could just simply type set type equal and then you could basically type the NS record that you're looking for. So you could just type set type equal MX if you're looking for mail servers associated with facebook.com command or any domain and then type facebook.com or any domain that you want to type. And once you click, as you can see, it would actually return the mail server MX record associated with that domain. And simply you can find out what is the mail server associated with that domain. So the other thing you could do, you could just type save type and a different type of DNS record. So let's say we want to look for name servers. So you just type set type equal NS and again, facebook.com and as soon as you do that it would actually return the name servers for facebook.com domain so you know that there are these two dns servers that they are basically providing dns services public dns services for facebook.com so these are pretty useful information that you can capture so if i want to show you again set type equal text records. So text records are where normally domains they just use for verification or they just use for SPF records and stuff which could be useful when you're doing reconnaissance and gathering information. So you could just type set type equal txt and then facebook.com or any domain. So you can basically understand that this is the SPF record that we have for facebook.com and it's basically redirecting to that domain so basically we could go there and do some further investigation to understand what the SPF record is and how we could basically use it as part of attacks in the next step. So that's it about NSLOOKUP as I said you can basically 
just look at the options and find out what other things you can do. The other useful similar command we have is dig. So dig is a very similar command to nslookup and basically works the same way. It's just an alternative for nslookup. If you just type dig and then your domain name, it would return a lot of information about that domain, including obviously the IP address associated with it name servers, you know, IP address version 6 and stuff like that. So that's another option that you have. If you want to find out more about dig, you could just type man dig or manual dig and it would give you a help guide basically about the command and you can find out more information about how it works. But simply, if you just type dig facebook.com, what you could basically do is if you don't want all those additional information, you could just simply type plus short and it would give you a short version of that basically previous command and it would just return the IP address associated with that domain name. The other thing is similar to NSLOOKUP, you could basically query specific DNS records with the command as well. So you could basically do literally the same thing if you just type dig facebook.com or any domain. If you're looking for MX records, you could just type MX and enter and it would return the mail server here and again if you just want to basically make a shorter version of that you could just simply just type big facebook.com mx plus short and basically get the results in a shorter version so this short version is useful when you're working on special scripts like shell scripts parallel scripts or python scripts whatever when you're automating your attacks or automating your investigations which is more advanced, but obviously you'd get there. This would be kind of a useful thing to have as part of that.